Hi, in this video we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as Detection of Autism Spectrum Disorder Using Machine Learning which is an enhancement of the IEEE base paper title which is entitled as a Machine Learning Framework for Early Stage Detection of Autism Spectrum Disorder which is an IEEE 2023 journal paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. Basically, Autism Spectrum Disorder is shortly known as ASD. So this Autism Spectrum Disorder is a problem of neurodevelopment condition that is associated with the brain. So the people who is affected by this Autism Spectrum Disorder will be having a problem in social interaction kinds of things and also their learning behavior and activities will be different from the others so the problem with the autism spectrum disorder is like the curing this autism is a critical one but early stage of detection of this autism spectrum disorder will make the help the patients to recover from the disorder so in this base paper the authors have concluded by implementing the machine learning model called AB that is Adapt Boost has given them a highest accuracy for them with the percentage of 97.12 percentage but we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the race paper so now let us see about the our proposed system so here you can see the our IEEE base the base paper title that is a machine learning framework for yearly stage reduction of autism spectrum disorder and our proposed title is reduction of autism spectrum disorder using machine learning so here you can see the IEEE base paper abstract so coming to the our proposed abstract so we are going to detect this autism spectrum disorder using the machine learning so here we are going to employ two distinct algorithms that is random forest classifier and decision tree classifier so in our proposed model we'll be having two models first one is random forest classifier second one is decision tree classifier so the accuracy that we have achieved for the random forest classifier the accuracy train score is 100 percentage and test score is 99 percentage so in the decision tree classifier we have the accuracy train score of 100 percentage and test score of 96 percentage so we'll be implementing both the models and in the both in the both the models random forest classifier has performed the very well so that we'll be showing as the our proposed system so here you can see the detail that is mentioned in the abstract part with the both the algorithms that we have mentioned it is random for us and the decision tree classifier and coming to the data set part so we have around 704 data set records with 21 features in it so there are various features available in the data sets i'll show you the data set part so in the source code monitor folder we have this autism screening data set so this is the data set part so if you scroll down till the end you can find it is about 704 data set records as mentioned there are 21 features available in it so the features like a1 score a2 score a3 score a4 score a5 score so these are the things that is available or uh, in the features part with a1 to a10 a10 score a gender ethnicity jaundice autism country of the residence used app result age description relation and class with asd so this is about the data set part so those details have been prescribed in the abstract part and uh, coming to the here the first model with the random forest classifier which has achieved the training accuracy score of 100 percentage and test score of 99 percentage and the decision reclassifier with the accuracy of 100 percentage and the test score of 96 percentage so here uh, as i mentioned the data set encompasses uh, comprehensive of attributes which includes the sensory perception like a1 score to a6 score cognitive abilities like a7 score to a10 score a gender ethnicity parental so all the features that is used in it so those details have been mentioned here so finally we have summarized that uh, the our proposed model detects the 
ASD that is at uh, autism spectrum disorder and coming to the existing system part so as mentioned the base paper is considered as existing system here they have used adapt boost machine learning algorithm so those details have been mentioned here in the existing system part and uh, we have listed the disadvantages of the existing system here so these are the disadvantages of the existing system and coming to the proposed system so to overcome the disadvantages that is listed we are going to propose with the both the models random forest and digital reclassifier so those details have been prescribed in the proposed system and here we have listed the advantages of the proposed system so these are the list of advantages that is of the proposed system coming to the system architecture we have the autism screening on adult data set Pre-processing feature selection is made and random forest addition reclassifier is made. And the predicted result with autism is yes or no is being predicted. And the performance analysis is graph part is made. And this is the system requirements with the hardware requirements and the software requirements. So as mentioned, we will be using Python. The version that we are using is Python 3.8.9. The front end part is developed using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And the web framework we have used is Flask framework. And this is the reference of the project. That is the base paper of the project. Before execution, make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirement file with the exact version of Python and the library is installed in your system. So now let us see the execution of the project. So first copy the source code location. Now go to your command prompt. So now go to the drive location where you have pasted the code. So in my case, I have pasted my code in your drive. I'll go to the F drive first. Now type CD space and paste the location that we have copied and click enter. So now we are into the source code location. Now type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for a few minutes. So now you can see the URL here, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser and go into Google Chrome and just paste the, the URL that you have copied. So now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title, a machine learning framework for early stage of detection of autism and spectrum disorder. So now just click this login menu. So it will be navigated to the login page. Kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project. So just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button. So now you can see the login success message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the upload part. So where you need to upload the data set, just select the choose file button. Now go to the source code location where you have the source code. So in the source code folder you can find this upload.csv file. So just select this upload.csv file and then click upload. So once after the data set has been uploaded it will be navigated to the preview part where you can preview the data set that we have uploaded. So as I have shown you earlier so you can see the features like IDA1 score to A10 score all the features that is available and if you scroll down till the end of the page you can find the complete data set has been loaded into the preview part. So you can see the features, all the features on the data set has been loaded into the preview part now. So now in the bottom of the page, you can find the click to try not test button. Just click it. Now after few seconds you can just find this training finish message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the important part of the project that is the prediction part. So here in the prediction part you can find the details of the things that is uh, available. 
So now let me show you with the each case one by one. So here you can see the things that is uh, uh, I often notice small sounds when others do not. So I'll enter the case as zero. Next, I usually concentrate more on whole picture rather than the small details. Let me enter the score as zero. I find it easy to do more than one thing at once. So these are the questions that has been asked for the uh, people or the normal people or autism spectrum people. So now let us let me enter the value as one. If there is an interruption, I can switch back to what I am doing very quickly. Let me enter the case as one here. And I find it easy to read between the lines when someone is talking to me. So let me enter the case as one here. here for I know how to tell if something listening to me is getting bored when I am getting I'm reading a story I find it difficult to work out the character's intervention let me enter the value as zero I collect I like to collect information about categories of things let me enter the value as one for this and here I find it easy to work out what someone is thinking or feeling just by looking at their face let me enter the value of zero and i find it difficult to work out people's intention let me enter the value of zero here so here let me enter the age as 36 gender as male for this case and ethnicity so there are various ethnicities available for the test case i'll give white european for uh, John Chundis, let me enter the cases. Yes, autism with uh, no country of residence with United States used to have before no and age description is 18 and more is for all the cases and relationship. Let me enter the self. So now, here in the final, you can see the model. So here you can select the model random forest classifier or decision tree according to the model that you have selected the prediction result will be shown according to the model so now let me show you with the first model that is random forest classifier so now you can let me click the prediction button so now you can see the predicted result is no so the the, the, the case that i have entered does not contain ast that is autism spectrum disorder so now let me enter other case so just click this prediction menu again so that you can enter for the other case so now i'm going to give the same values again so now let us check with the next model in it that is the uh, other than i have selected random for a cla this time i'll collect decision tree classifier now let us enter the values and check it out So now this time I'm selecting this addition reclassifier and click the predict button. So now you can see this time also it is predicted the result as no for the addition tree also. So here you can see the values are reset because we are not using any database to store the value. So that is the reason it is being reset at every time. But here you can see the prediction result of the detail that you are given for the input that you are given. So for the same data i have given both the models and both the models are predicted almost the same with no so now let me go to the prediction menu again so this time i'll enter with the other case
so now let me check with the, for this case I have entered and click the print button and now you can see the prediction result is yes the case that I have entered the, uh, the person has the autism spectrum disorder so I'll just go to the prediction menu again to show you with other case so let me enter the details as the case details So this time I have entered the case with the, these values with age 22 female white European no no New Zealand no 18 and above relationship self and so let me select a random forest classifier and let us click the prediction result for this case and you can see the prediction result is no which means there is no autism spectrum disorder for this person. So in this way you can check with the data that is available in the test folder or in the train folder in the data that we have trained up with so to make the video shorter i'm going to the next part that is the performance analysis part just click this performance analysis so now you can see the performance analysis part so it contains the performance analysis of both the models random forest classifier and the nation tree classifier so first in the random forest classifier part you can see the uh, performance analysis parameters recall f1 and prediction values for the both the cases you no know, or yes and you can see the confusion matrix of the true and predicted label with the both the classes and coming to the next model decision tree classifier it also contains the same performance analysis parameters like recall f1 and prediction value with the both the cases of no or yes and you can see the confusion matrix here with the true and predicted label with the both the cases one and zero and finally comes the chart part so just click this chart menu it will be near clear to the chart part and kindly note that this is a static chart because we have not used any database in the project so just as it is, uh, we are going to uh, show the static chart only so here you can see the two charts one with the accuracy score so here you can see the accuracy score of random forest classifier which is has accuracy score of 99 percentage and the addition tree content accuracy score of, score of 96 percentage so we have uh, proposing that random forest classifier is the best model for this autism spectrum disorder when compared to the other model in the decision tree so this is the comparison graph for the accuracy score so and coming to the uh, second graph so which contains the uh, values of the data set so here you can see no with 70 percentage and yes with 30 percent so this this chart is being depicted from the data set that we have trained up with so here the data set part contains the yes with 30 percentage and no with 70 percent that is being depicted here so that is the reason i have mentioned that this is not a dynamic graph this is static graph only and now let me log out and this is all about the project detection of autism spectrum disorder using machine learning using python and thank you for watching